Hello and welcome back to Granite RC. This is the King Hauler build, and I'm now onto the uh, rear leaf springs for the suspension, where I can then mount the uh, axles and differentials, which we've already built. I'll get onto that a bit later, but for the moment, it's going to be building up the uh, suspension area. The leaf spring, sorry. Uh, I'm putting them onto the the chassis. So we're gonna make two of these. One for each side, obviously. Uh, already got bits set out for this first slot. I've trimmed up the the plastics, just clean them up on the edges there and there. So what are we going to need? Going to need a PC1, then one of these plastic pieces. There are some little grooves in there, so I think that's that sits there. Then the leaf spring there, that on top. A couple of U bolts holding it. And I've already got the uh, the locking nuts there. I might use a little bit of thread lock as well, uh, just for extra safety. It should be straightforward enough. There's a nut uh, or, a, or a rivet through the leaf spring, so it should sit together. As if there was little flanders on there for that to, to sit on as well. So I guess building it from the upside down would be the easiest. So it all kind of fits in a place. And that just slips over there. So like I said, I'll put a little bit of Lock tight on. I don't know how necessary it's going to be with the uh, actual lock nuts, but uh, I suppose it's going to take a little bit of abuse to the suspension. But I'll be safe and sorry in having to rebuild bits here and there just because I didn't put a little bit of lock tight on. Again, it doesn't say it in the book, but it's uh, going be safe, I think. Just to put a little ball blob on. And that should just fit in there somewhere. Get a tool. Concentration, it's all small pieces. Try not to cross thread anything. Shouldn't need to force anything, most of it's pretty well machined. So it should just go on really smoothly.
probably tight enough. I don't think they'll be going anywhere. As long as there's no movement in the piece, I guess that would be fine. Yeah, that's pretty solid there, so I think I'm happy with that. Uh, I'll do the second one off camera so you watch me do uh, the two of them. Uh, but I'll just quickly get the last pieces in, which are these little brackets down there. And down there. Again, we've got a couple of bits to, to bolt on. Uh, again, metal on metal on them. Again, it's going to be moving pieces, so I kind of want to lock them in so they're not going to to go anywhere. In theory, that should just slip through there. Yep. So it takes, like I said, I'm just using a little drop of the, the thread lock. Sorry, I keep on calling it Loctite. Don't use Loctite, that's a glue. I suppose this is, but uh, it's meant for doing this. Smear on there, and it was the same, same nuts, locking nuts. It's a tool. I'll use that. And the screwdriver. They'll need to move as the springs move in rock. So I think that would still be loose to some degree. Uh, so there's a little bit of locked up, so hopefully there shouldn't be any uh, movement on there. I'll do the same on that one. Six through a little bit of. Red lock. And lock the nut. So I mean they're pretty straightforward I guess for this bit of it. Challenges that I've found so far, really. So the differentials kind of look a little intimidating, but they were fine. It's just a case of putting things in, dropping a couple of gears on, and off you go. And it's pretty tight, but yeah, that gives me a little bit of movement. Just want to make sure it's not moving about too much side to side. No, I think that's okay. So yeah, I'll go ahead and build this second one off camera, uh, and then I'll come back in the ball, get them put onto the the chassis. Okay, now we have our two leaf springs assembled. The next parts we're feeding uh, this screw through. There's some cool housings for them to go through as well. With these. And these would go with the screw size out, so make sure you've got scratching, uh, matching screws and bolts on each side so it doesn't look a bit weird. Um, looks like they're just slipped in and going to be bolted onto the top parts of the frame. So this should just 
take a second. And it just screws out on that side. That comes in from the outside. And I'll just feed the screw through. Uh, it doesn't mention needing any oil, so. And that's probably just going to be acting as a washer, adding a bit of strength to pieces. And I guess moving, letting things move a little bit. Okay, so one last screw to go on there. Just a very tiny snare on the edge. So it'll drag it round the bolt as it goes and not jam it into the screw and mechanisms. So that's that one there. Hold you in with the Tamiya tool there. Uh, so yeah, that's both the springs attached and moving, and we'll be on to the next piece, which is attaching the axles. So all there's a whole. Uh, go get all the pieces, sort out, uh, so you don't have to watch me rummaging through bags of bits because I've got quite a few bags now all separated out into boxes uh, other boxes off screen with the plastics which haven't been cut out and I'm kind of keeping everything as organised as I can be, it just seems the, the best way to go with it but, uh, I'll cut back in a second with the pieces and we'll uh, will attach the axles. Now that we have the pieces prepared, we can start to look to actually assemble everything. Uh, so I've got my parts just here. Again, it's going metal to metal, but it's pre-threaded there, which everything's going to be going into. So I'm waiting to uh, just tap the inside of the holes with a little of the thread lock. And they're prepared for the next step. So what am I doing? Um, I'll push that up a little bit so I can kind of see. So these are going to be sitting on there, these screws should drop through, I'll put them down to a bit easier. Alright, one, two, uh, which way are you again? there and they just go straight onto here. So I said I'll tap a little bit of thread lock just to be on the safe side because it's going to be moving parts around there. Pick up a lot of vibration I guess. So just a little tap. Right. It's in that 
hole. Okay, I think that's No real no thread lock comes through, so just as I said, a little tap it in the middle of the holes and I'll put it again on this side. Now a bit awkward to maybe do at the same time next time. Assembly, so two screws going down. And that was facing to the back. So I'll drop you in there and hopefully line this up. One in there. Try this other one. Yeah, I think that's fine there. Let's go ahead and tighten you up. the first one in. and again the same process for the other one but just double check on the orientation of things that should all line up fine so I'll go ahead I'll uh, These ones are mounted in the forward position for the for part. so it's a bit easier to get the second one in. I suppose I'm learning as I go. Thank you. 
off with that one. Wipe that down just so it's not going to interfere with anything. And hopefully these second screws should just be a double now. Make sure there's no excess thread lock. Okay, that should be okay there. First part, uh, this next part is done with that set of little nuts and screws. And here we go. So it's asking for the small propeller shaft we put in. I've put a little bit of grease in each of those, but I guess I'll quickly dab one end in and then turn it so each side's got a little bit of grease to it. And again this one. Okay, so hopefully that should do. I can always go back in later and maybe apply a little bit more grease. Maybe this isn't the right way but uh, Give it a try. So we then have these arms which are going to sit in there and attach there. Okay, so the GUB6 B7 is on the back, which is the small one there, which I have set up already. I think for the ones which attach in the middle it's advised and thread lock that I'll put a little bit of thread lock on each one I think. So there's that one there. There and the longer one for the middle. And there. Quickly mock up just so I don't have to worry about uh, losing that shaft. One in there, maybe a longer one for the middle. And there. Okay, I'll quickly get the other side in place as well. That's uh other side makes things easy if you have everything prepared ahead of time so you can just grab the parts which I've laid up uh, pretty much exactly where they should go so there's no fumbling around with what really goes where once I start going with a section or one of the assembly parts So there's a couple of different nuts to go on there. There's the flanged ones which go into the centre, locking ones go onto there, but as I said, even a little, oh, this is 
before we double check everything. There's two little bits there that shouldn't be there. Have I got that round? So I've got the rounds the wrong way. Okay, um, so I guess I'll quickly uh, quickly take that apart. Flip it round. <laughs> oh, well. I suppose it's best that I notice these things before going any further. It's always always double check your instructions, make sure you've not done anything, and look at the pictures carefully. So I don't think it's going to affect anything really. Where's the grease? Put that in there for the second. It would annoy me knowing that there was just something not 100% of the manual, I guess. Oh, that was me speaking about planning ahead. off. Rotate around that way and as I said, smooth there and you've got uh, little bumps there. So we'll try this again. Um, go with the hope that the thread lock's going to be fine. One again. And this side. I suppose these things happen though, don't they? If you've not built one before, then uh, It's a learning curve, I guess. Oh, I say ready to go, ready to put more screws on. Right. So we can fit this arm back in there. Pop that back in there. This screw back in. There we go. This arm goes back in there, fits in there, this screw goes through there. And I just double check. 
the flange nuts go on the center, where's the little tool, there we go. And what size are you? Yeah, that size. Mm. Same size, perfect. So, a little bit of lock plate. Just on there. I suppose we'll do this one as well. So again, it's moving parts, so you don't want to jam it up with the block tape or anything. But uh, I'm just a bit paranoid. Again, it's a bit of an awkward angle. It's kind of got the axle housing in the way, the differential. So it's a go. Possibly give it a millimetre or two, maybe hold that with pliers. So I can actually see what I'm doing.
bits. Just for the, uh, the middle ones. So this is where it does advise the, the lock plate at least. So I was getting too excited with building things there. I forgot what I was doing. And it's a shaft. There we go. Should sit. Oh. Can you hold? There we go. Is this back into place? Not a major issue, so at least we caught that one <laughs> early enough. Like well, I said, you got to pay attention. I completely forgot I'd put it over there. Uh, so we did lock it on there. Oh, I thought things were going too easy for a second. Use the Tamiya tool for this, and might be enough room to get it in. But I think the pliers are making an easier job of it. Okay. And the 
this last one. Our suspension there we do now need to move on to uh, making the little pistons the dampers and attaching them I guess up there somewhere put on these two holes those two holes each side but uh, slowly but surely it's uh, starting to look like a truck I guess with more bits on it, it would be a lot more like a truck, but yeah. Sorted. Well, I'll carry on with that, because I mean, the next bits, I think, was the. What are we looking at? That's asking for the front, front suspension, so yeah, I can't really do that bit, can I? Um, so I guess the next bit we're possibly looking at would be building the. The gear mechanism, which looks like it could be fun. The last few pages, and that goes in. I'll probably just build it and have it separate until I can get the servo centered completely neutral. I guess there's nothing stopping me moving on to some of the, the back parts. Then I'd fit the, the gears once I've got the steering in and the uh, and the suspension at the front. So I guess that's gonna be the the next build point is the gears. Okay, well thanks for watching.